Good morning, staff. Uh, you're looking at the Mr. Wood here, a video that's being produced. This is the first of its kind for East High School. Um, this is in conjunction with our project that we're doing at Henrietta Lacks, uh, our staff project. We did a whole thing on the preface. We did a whole thing on chapter one, chapter two, chapter five, chapter eight, chapter 11, chapter 16, chapter 34, it goes on. And we've got them, and we did them all in different colors. So we can represent that with the ICANN statements. So the first question was like, do we feel that the, we have like the right, like the jurisdiction over what they do with ourselves after we've like lended or donated it to them? Before Henrietta came to Hopkins for treatment, in a paper about hysterectomy, Talind wrote, the psychic effect of hysterectomy, especially on the young, is considerable and it should not be done without a thorough understanding on the part of the patient who is entitled to a simple explanation of the facts, including loss of the reproductive function. Biopsy, the radio treatment, and radiation were all standard for the day. But several studies have shown that black, that black patients were treated and hospitalized at later stages of their illnesses than white patients. And once hospitalized, they got fewer pain medications and had higher mortality rates. what's called an assemblage. Assemblage. Okay, so it's kind of a step further than a collage. And a lot of the pop artists in the 1980s, 70s, uh, 90s even did assemblage. Assemblages, they're still being done today. You also incorporate things that represent what your assemblage is about. And you also incorporate something called a found object. A found object is what do you think that is? Some of you who did the collages with me in Art One might already know what a found object is. Um, I am Keyshawn Shaw here, a 10th grader here at East High School. Um, I wrote this poem, Cancer Patient, because the book Henrietta Locks kind of tied me back to the memory of my godmother who passed away from cancer. Um, this poem means a whole lot to me, and I thought I would write this poem like to bring out my feelings and stuff of how Henrietta Locks tied me to my godmother. Dedication flag. So it's pretty much like it's coming from the family, a friend like going away, like her dying. And pretty much some like the friend being more religious than being like book smart because like most of them have education. So it's like showing like they try to understand the cells and they think of it as a spirit instead of like the actual like how you say it, science. So it's just like showing them like she says rest in heaven, so it's showing that she's pretty much a good spirit. Like she the the one I print out says, I know uh, heaven is a beautiful place because they've got you and it's showing, it's going to happen, put some looks like a cross in it with like little remarks of saying like uh, the world's a better place now because of her spirit giving them, giving them good things like vaccination and stuff like that, whatever she's done on herself. My name is Isaiah Williams. Um, I go to East High School 
and uh, I have been experiencing the great book of Henrietta Lacks, the immortal life of Henrietta Lacks. And um, I've actually really liked it so far. I'm uh, into the first five chapters, I believe. Uh, and it's, she's a very unique woman. Um, I think that um, me just learning about her now is actually uh, getting me some more information on her. Uh, I looked her up actually and uh, found out some things too. But uh, reading the book, uh, I've learned that uh, she's had a very tough life growing up with her kids and with her, her sisters and brothers and uh, that she, um, when they found out that her uh, cells were like really like immortal and that they can um, push on to different things, they help us with our medicine these days, um, that her family really didn't get like benefits or profits. So actually, uh, that kind of made me feel some type of way and like it kind of made me think. trying to figure it out like um, how the enzymes work and then how to put it together and like um, how to work it out with proteins and all that. In the science classroom um, and in the science department, our students have learned the importance of the HeLa cells as well as they've learned about cervical cancer and the importance of living a healthy lifestyle such so that they can prevent cancer in their life. Specifically in my class, the students um, did an in-depth study on the diagnosis and treatment for different types of cancer. You're broken down and tired of living life on the merry-go-round. And you can't find a fighter, but I see it in you, so we can walk it out. Move mountains, we can walk it out and move. The silence is in quiet And it feels like it's getting hard to breathe And I know you feel like dying But I promise we would take the world to its feet Move by all days Bring it to its feet That we have each other
thousand times again and we'll 